everybody. Hey, it's Heidi here at Scope Studio Vocal Instruction. I really come I don't usually come on live on a Monday, but I'm moved to give a message. I just got off working with a uh, wonderful young singer on, on Zoom, and the message is to stop self-condemnation in your singing. Stop self-condemning. Stop saying, I'm sorry, when, when you sing something that, that you don't think goes well. Stop listening in judgment. Stop defining yourself by what you think other people are thinking of your singing. That is so painful on yourself to do. Don't do it. I was telling this dear singer, there's going to be here, this hand is, is, is bad opinions about what you do, that you're going to hear from people. So it's always going to be there. No matter what you do, it's always going to be there. This hand here is good opinions. Good opinions of what people say. And here's you. Don't listen to any of them. Don't listen to the good opinions that people say. And don't listen to the bad opinions that people say. Who do you listen to? Who do you listen to? You listen to yourself. Do you know how many years I spent listening to everybody else? This is a strong message that I'm giving tonight because I need to say it. Do you know how many times I have sat there and listened to other people's opinions instead of listening to me? What I knew was right and good? Listen to you. And don't apologize for yourself. Don't sing a phrase and go, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. Say to yourself, wow, I sang that phrase and it was great. Even if you don't think it's great at the moment. So what? It will be. It will be. But you stop your progress so much when after every phrase, you, you go, I'm sorry. That wasn't good enough. Every sound that you make in reality is good enough because you are good enough. You are good enough right now. I'm building a self-esteem program for singers because they need it. They need it. There's so much out there that's always tearing down. Let's be builders and start with ourselves because that's where the building is in ourselves and not with other people and what they think. Who cares? Who cares what somebody else thinks about you? Care about what you think and say, I love myself. I love myself. I love myself enough to make these sounds that I'm making right now and they're acceptable right now. And they're only gonna get better. Okay? That's my message, don't judge. And, and when we catch ourselves judging other people, stop that. That's not our business. What somebody else is doing is not my business. Unless they ask my opinion, my help, I don't, I don't wanna give it. It's not for me to know. It's enough to deal with me. It's enough to find my, my wheel that's turning for my voice and what a journey it's been. And I'm going to tell you, dear folks out there that need to hear this message, it's a great journey. It is a great journey. I was telling this dear student tonight, had I, had I been so self-defacing, I would have quit a long time ago. I would have quit a long time ago. But I'm an example of somebody who has kept going and has found the way. And now all the programs that I'm building and the way I'm working is to build others so they don't go through what I went through. I'm pretty passionate about it. So don't, don't sing a song and go, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or when you go to a coach, I'm sorry. This is, the, this is the mood that it has to be from you. I'm wonderful. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm wonderful. 
I mean that in accepting yourself wholeheartedly. I'm wonderful, and you're going to love every sound that I make. And if you don't, that's fine, too, because I like it. Okay? Enough said. Lots of love.